Alrighty, welcome back to this video and this is possibly one of the most important videos of this candlestick training series because up to this point, you have learned the different types of candlestick patterns. But to be honest, you don't really need to memorize any candlestick pattern as long as you understand these three things that I'm about to share with you, right? Once you understand the three things, right, you can, you know, forget about all the candlestick patterns that, that you have learned earlier because you can still read what the market is trying to tell you, right? This is powerful stuff. So with that, right, the first thing that you must know is, number one, the body, the length of the body shows you who's in control. If you have a longer body, right, it's telling you that, you know, uh, let's say a, a, a bigger bullish candle with a larger body, it's telling you that the buyers are obviously in control. Second thing is the length of the wick because it shows you price rejection, right? Where did price get rejected? At the highs, whether it got rejected at the lows and etc. And the third thing you want to look at is the ratio of the wick to the body to get a complete picture. Okay, so let's have a look. So you can see over here, the first candle, you have a strong body close. Buyers are in control. Okay, buyers... Uh, you know, just call it bias in control. And you know, look at the wick, right? It's relatively short. So there isn't really much price rejection. Okay, so this one you can, you know, state that, you know, for this candlestick that you see over here, the bias are in, are in control. The second one you see over here, right? Small bodied candle. So the bias are not really in control. So let's look at the wick and see, you know, where did price get rejected? Right, it got rejected near these highs and these lows. So it's telling you that, you know, it's somewhat undecided because, you know, the length of the wick are pretty much proportionate to one another. So this one over here is somewhat uh, undecided. And the third candle over here, again, look at the body. It has closed higher. The buyers are in control. Look at the length of the wick. Okay, very long wick rejecting lower prices. So it's telling you that this candle, buyers, buyers are in control and it has rejected lower prices prices and this is a very strong price rejection because if you look at the wick relative to the body right the wick is so much longer than the body okay so moving on you can see that this is just the opposite example over here you have a very small wick right and a very large body candle towards the downside sellers are in control this one over here again you can see that you know, the, the price rejection of this highs and this lows are somewhat proportionate small body candle so it's more of a indecision candle as the buyers and sellers are pretty much similar to one another, even though I would say that uh, the sellers are, have the slight edge because they have managed to close uh, the price slightly lower. Whereas the third one is more bearish as you see that, you know, firstly, you have a body that is a lower close, not a very large body, but it doesn't matter because you notice that this long wick over here has rejected higher prices. Okay, and on top of it, right, the, the length of the wick relative to the body is so much longer as it tells you that he has rejected all these higher prices and finally, you know, closing near the lows. Okay, so with that said, right, these are the only three things you need to know. Number one, the length of the body shows, you know, who is in control. The length of the wick shows you the price rejection. And to get a complete picture, you want to look at the ratio of the wick to the body. Why is that? Is because sometimes you can have a very large body Okay, let's say that this is a, a, a bullish candle, okay? But let's say your wick is also very long, right? Now, this doesn't look so bullish anymore because you got to have a price rejection from this high all the way down to, you know, where price close over here. So this is why you want to see the ratio of the wick to the body to get the complete picture. No doubt the, the body, right, has closed higher. The buyers are still in control. But when you look at it relative to the wick, you know that there is a selling pressure lurking around as well. So similarly, let's say if you have, you have a bearish candle, right, that close like this, right? At this point, yep, it looks it looks, it looks, looks bearish, right? But what if you have a very long wick? Well, now it's not as bearish anymore, right? Because you have this long wick that shows you price rejection, rejection of lower prices. And even though, you know, the, the candle is open here and closed here, right? You know that there is a uh, buying pressure lurking here due to this long wick. So this is why you want to see the ratio of the wick to the body to get the complete picture. So with that said, I have come to the end of this video and I'll see you in the next.